shaking the finger in tashahud, shaking the finger. You see some people, when they recite at tahiyatu lillahi salawatu, they come to a point, well, right the way through, I should say, till the end. They are violently moving their finger up and down, and they do have a basis in terms of textual narration for this. So it's not something they've invented, and they utilize a narration going back to a famous companion by the name of Wa'il ibn Hujr, radiallahu anhu, and Wa'il ibn Hujr is one of the last of the companions of the Prophet As uh, He came from Yemen, from a princely family, in, in the last few months of the Prophet Wasallam's lifetime. And there's narration going back to Wa'il ibn Hujr. The narration mentions, it's a quite a lengthy narration, that the Prophet Wasallam lifted his index <coughs> finger, and I saw him, meaning Wa'il ibn Hujr, said, and I saw him moving it, supplicating with it. So he's moving it. In a certain manner. Now, if we look at all the chains of transmission, going back to Wa'il ibn Hujr, for this version of this narration, what do we find? That all of the chains of transmission, for this wording specifically, which mentions shaking the finger, they come through one common link. That common narrator found in the chain of transmission, his name is Za'idah ibn Qudama. Za'idah ibn Qudama is generally thiqa, is trustworthy. Uh, he took from a narrator, his teacher's name was Asim ibn Kulayb. And Asim ibn Kulayb took from his father Kulayb ibn Shihab. And Kulayb ibn Shihab took from Wa'il ibn Hujr radiallahu anhu. Now only Za'idah ibn Qudama narrated it with the wording moving the finger, the index finger specifically. Whereas other students of Asim ibn Kulayb, those who are contemporaries to Za'idah ibn Qudama, they all took from the same shaykh, meaning Asim ibn Kulayb, include the following. One. Sufyan al-Thawri, Amir al-Mu'minin in Hadith, he narrated from Asim ibn Qulayb, you find it in the Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba, without mentioning shaking of the finger, but pointing, just pointing with the finger. Then Sufyan ibn Uyayna, another Imam of Hadith, Imam of Hadith in the Musnad of Ahmad ibn Hanbal, taking from who? Asim ibn Qulayb again, without mentioning shaking the finger, just pointing the finger. Then, Shoba ibn al-Hajjaj, Amir al-Mu'minin in Hadith. You find again in the Musnad of Ahmad from Asim ibn Kulayb, not shaking the finger but just pointing the finger. Then, Qais ibn al-Rabi, from Asim ibn Kulayb, just mentioning pointing and not shaking in the collection of al-Tabarani, Mojam al-Kabir. Then, Abdul Wahid bin Ziyad al-Abdi, from again Asim ibn Kulayb in the Musnad of Ahmad, just mentioning what? Pointing and not shaking. And you get the message. I'll just mention the other students. All of them confirm each other. Abdullah bin Idris al-Audi in Sunan of Ibn Majah. Zuhair bin Muawiyah. You find his narration in the Musnad of Ahmad. Abu al-Ahwas Salam bin Sulaym in the Musnad of Abu Dawood al-Tayalisi. And Bishr ibn al-Mufaddal in the Sunan of Abu Dawood. Khalid ibn Abdullah al-Wasiti in Bayhaqi's Sunan. All of these people, they took from one teacher, Asim ibn Kulayb. All of them, with the exception of Zaid ibn Qudama, narrate the hadith from Wail ibn Hujr, with the text saying, just pointing the finger, not shaking. Only Zaid ibn Qudama narrated it with the wording, shaking the finger. So ibn Khuzayma, in his sahih, the famous Imam al aimma they call him, Imam of the Imams in hadith, okay, he mentions in his sahih, volume 1, page 354, there's not a single hadith containing yuharrikuha, meaning he moved it. The Prophet ﷺ moved it, except this hadith mentioned by Zaida, meaning Zaida ibn Qudama. Okay, so this hadith, if people are acting upon it, they need to justify themselves from the principles of hadith that it's authentic. Just because the chain looks authentic, the matan is problematic. It's shad. The wording is shad because it's the, the narration by just one narrator in conflict with a whole group of people. Some of them are more trustworthy than him, like Shu'bah ibn al-Hajjaj, and Sufyan al-Thawri, and Sufyan bin Uyayna. These are greater than him in terms of rank of transmitting hadith and mastery over hadith. All right? And what confirms that the correct version from Wa'il ibn Hujr is that it should be just pointing the finger and not shaking is other versions of this hadith. You find in the Sunan of Abu Dawud from Abdullah ibn al-Zubair. What does it mention? That the Prophet ﷺ used to point with his index finger when making supplication, meaning in the tashahud, 
and did not move it. Very explicit narration, did not move it. This narration is authenticated by Imam al-Nawi. And then if you look in Sahih Muslim, you will find a narration also, if I recall, from Abdullah ibn Umar as well, saying that the Prophet sallallahu only pointed with it. So there's the people who generally shake their finger, they follow one methodology, and the methodology I'm referring to is Sifat al-Salat al-Nabi of Shaykh Nasiruddin al-Albani. They look up to that book as being the greatest thing written on Salah, Kitab al-Salah, in the last 14 centuries. But let me clarify for you, one of his famous students, who's passed away as well, Muqbil ibn Hadi of Yemen, has taken the view that I've just mentioned to you, that it's actually Shad. This view is correct, and that the wording of Zayd ibn Khudam is Shad. How do we know that? Because he's left a book in Arabic, Listing narrations that apparently look authentic at first glance, but there's hidden defects within them. There's hidden defects, defects in them, and he gives this as an example. I've seen it with my own eye, that he takes the view I've just given to you, which is the correct view, according to the science of Hadith. The view of Nasruddin al-Bani is Shad, if you want to say, or Munkar, depending how you label him as a scholar of Hadith. Now, as for the Maliki school, you see they do move the finger as well, but they don't do it the same way as these people. There's a way of doing it. They form it in a circle manner and they don't rely on hadith because the principle in the Maliki school is not to give preference to individual reports, khabar al-ahad, but to the amal of Medina. The practice of the people of Medina in Imam Malik's time, a group of people, I'm not saying everyone, did move their finger but not shaking it up and down but in a circular manner. And they do it gently, not in a vigorous manner as well. So they don't give priority to single chain narrations, ahad narrations. They look at what they inherited from one generation to the next. 